Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at what is really life-changing about the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo. It's been a Netflix hit with like the tight whole tidying up decluttering TV show and also for me it's more about the book The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and the KonMari Method. <laughs> As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them go after the life of their dreams. So I went through the whole process of reading the book and implementing it all a couple of years ago and it really was life changing for me. I have always been quite into like organising my space and having like organising shelving and labelling boxes and yes I was that person that had a label maker and things like that but it never got to the point where I was completely happy with it, it never got to the point where I felt that it was really right, it never clicked which is actually a phrase she refers to in the book, you keep going until it clicks. Now obviously this has all come to a head again with the TV show, I did a whole series on decluttering where I touched on the KonMari method last year and I had no idea that the TV show was going to come out at that point so I thought it was obviously very topical to come back to it because now everyone's like wow it's on Netflix, it must be good, must be worth doing. I genuinely believe it's life changing but I do think the, the video, the video, the TV show missed a really important part and that is all the mindset side of things. Tidying isn't just about tidying the physical things in your home, in your bag, in your car, in your office, all those kind of areas of your life. It's most important up here. It wasn't just about physical things that spark joy, bringing the, those things into my life. It was more the mental things, how I spend my time, the people I spend my time with, as well as what I buy when I go shopping. And it's definitely dramatic, dramatically reduced my spending. I now look at the things I have with so much more love and I'm like, I chose to keep you in my life. Why would I want to replace you by bringing more things in? I now much more work on a, a one item in, one item out system, unless it's going to improve my productivity or my time management. So I recently bought a strappy top that I have, the exact same strappy top, but I wear it so often, I was finding myself doing laundry like half loads because I needed to get this top out again because I always wear it under jumpers in the winter and so it made more sense to buy another one. But that, that, that very simple strappy top definitely sparks joy. So I deserve that strappy top. But everything else I'm kind of like, do I, do I really need this? Is this really gonna spark joy? I'll try something on, I'll be like, yes, I really like it but actually deep down it doesn't spark joy. Even things that I look good in, I'd be like, yeah, I look really good in it, but it doesn't spark joy. It's not me. And as I said, this isn't just the physical thing, it's much more the mental side of things. I actually teach the mental side of decluttering, either face-to-face -face or online in Zoom. We do, we go into all that and come up with a specific plan of action for the person I'm working with, for them to then go and declutter their own house. There are people that you can pay to come in and completely declutter it, but I think unless you do that groundwork and that mental side of things, it's not gonna stick and it's not gonna be as life-changing as it could be. I really do believe that tidying can be life-changing, but it's not just the physical tidying, it's also the mental tidying and doing a really deep and proper job with it once and for all. I would love to hear your thoughts on the life-changing magic of tidying up. Obviously it's very topical at the moment, so pop that in the comments down below. If you're looking for a little bit of extra help, reach out to me. I'm hello at supermumsociety.com and at the time of recording I do have a special offer running on my coaching where I'm doing the first three hours at 50% off. You may find you only need three hours. so that's fine, you may find you only need one or two if you're willing to do a lot more of the, the mental work when we're not in session as well. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.